So meat is muscle. And so muscle is made up of three main protein types, uh, one of them being muscle fibers. And so they're the strings that make up your muscle. It's the primary thing that you're eating uh, and they contract to enable movement. The second type of protein is elastin, and elastin is either a tendon or a ligament, and it's often referred to in the cooking world as either gristle or silver skin. Now, both of those types of protein, it doesn't matter how much you cook them, you're not gonna make them more or less tender. If anything, by applying heat, all you're gonna do is dehydrate the muscle fibers themselves. The third type of protein is collagen. Now, collagen is a type of glue that binds together these muscle fibers. So the more the muscle fibers are working, the more collagen will be present. So the less of muscle works, the less collagen is present. Collagen is the only one of the three proteins that you can melt away by applying heat units. So when we look at the anatomy of an animal, depending on what the function of those muscles are, will dictate our cooking method. So if the muscle is part of the locomotive muscle group, those muscles tend to be doing a lot more work. Therefore, they tend to be higher in collagen and require a lower temperature of heat for a prolonged period of time in order to melt away all that collagen. Whereas muscles that are part of the supportive regions of the animal, those muscles do not require as much exposure to heat so they can be cooked faster with a higher temperature. The ultimate goal when selecting the meat uh, to become tender is that you're able to melt away the collagen while not overcooking your muscle fibers.